about extending the unemployment benefits, right? They're about to expire uh, at the end of July. And if you remember, on this podcast, again, I said from the first time that Congress made the mistake of going for this uh, extended unemployment benefits where they were giving everybody $600 a week and it was going to last for four months, what did I say? I said it's not going to last for four months. It's going to last at a minimum through the election because I knew that in July, when you're less than four months from a November election, that there was no way that politicians were not going to extend these benefits, especially since they made them so lucrative, which was part of the problem. They made them so lucrative that a lot of people don't want to go back to work because they're making a lot more money on unemployment than when they were working. And these voters, right, nobody wants to take this away from the voters. So the Republicans now, right, are kind of pretending that they want to do something about this problem. And I think a plan that I heard is they want to limit the extended benefits to 70% of what you used to earn, right? You can't just get $600 a week extra if you used to earn $400 a week. Your extended, your supplemental benefits would be capped at 70% of what you used to earn. But even if you realize that that benefit supplements their normal benefit, chances are if your federal benefit is 70% of what you used to earn and you add that to your regular benefit, you're earning about the same or receiving about the same in unemployment as you would get if you went back to work. So that's still a disincentive for people not to go back to work. It's not as great a disincentive, right? But it's still a disincentive. So they still don't get it. But, you know, the Republicans did understand this. There was, I forget which Republican actually tried to block this bill. And they try to insert a, a rider last minute that would limit the amount of additional unemployment benefits that you can get to no more than 100% of what you were earning, right? Because somebody recognized, oh, my God, we're paying people not to work. Clearly, they're not going to work if we pay them not to work. So they tried to do something to mitigate the damage. But that rider, that amendment was voted down. So they knew that it was going to create a problem. And they didn't even want to fix it before it even got started because of the politics. Well, the politics are the same now as they were then. So I think the Republican fix is going to get trashed and they're just going to sign on to some kind of big extension so that we get this uh, beyond the, uh, the elections. And in fact, if you look at the unemployment numbers that came out today, the weekly claims that we get every Thursday for the last I don't know how many weeks in a row, but many, many weeks, the unemployment numbers had been going down. They were still over a million claims every, every, every week, but the number was getting smaller and smaller until this week. This week is that we broke that string of declining uh, first time claims and we got an increase. Last week, it was 1.3 million claims and they revised that up slightly to 1.307 million. They were looking for 1.308 million, which would have been a slight increase. We ended up getting going up to 1.416 million, so a much bigger increase. But the important thing is, again, we broke the trend of declining uh, claims, and now claims are rising again. And I think this could be the beginning of a new upward trend, as a lot of the businesses that reopened are now reclosing. And so even that, right, if we're going to have more unemployed people, that's more political pressure to extend these benefits. But the point I'm making here is what makes all this possible is the dollar, right? Donald Trump is giving up his uh, push for a payroll tax cut, right? He's all upset that we couldn't.